beneath the shade of giant trees. Stand by a balmy southern breeze. Thy classic walls have dared to stand. A giant thou art in learning's band. Oh, Alcorn dear, our mother here. Thy name we praise, thy name we sing. Thy name thy sons have honored far. A crown of gems thy daughters are. When country called her flag to bear, the gold and purple answered here. O oh, Alcorn dear, our mother here. Thy name we praise, thy name we sing. Our race, thy clan shall need. So far to progress, they shall lead. Thy sons with clashing arms of trade. In useful arts, full garb thy maids. O oh, all corn deer, we proudly bear thy standard unto victory. Welcome Arcanites and friends. I am Melissa Faith Payne and I am so very honored to serve as your host for this special occasion. Our ses was our CES was centennial celebration. I knew I was going to mess that up. Well, this live broadcast is our kickoff to a momentous year of events and programs. And today, the Alcorn family celebrates the 150th anniversary of an institution with an amazing and trailblazing legacy. From the beginning, Alcornites have dared to succeed and defy the odds. We have dared to be brave and dared to aspire to greatness. So this program will take a look back by honoring our traditions and legacy of leadership, recognize the excellence and innovation of today's Alcorn State University students, the campus, and the alumni, then boldly look forward to our aspiring future and how we will dare to take a quantum leap to our next era of greatness. Now, reflecting on my days on the yard, I am so excited just thinking about the splendid possibilities in the days ahead. Alcorn's story is the American story. It is an institution with a unique experience and an indomitable spirit that has transcended the ages. Alcorn stands as a bright and ever-present beacon of opportunity for our community and the nation. So to help spread some of our light with the world, we have invited Reverend Otis Moss III, the senior pastor of Trinity United Church of Christ in Chicago, Illinois, to summon us to the glory of the day. Following Reverend Moss is United States Senator Roger Wicker, who will share inspiring words about Alcorn's national esteem. Then we will hear from the Secretary of the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Secretary Tom Vilsack, with a message recognizing all corns transcendent excellence in higher education's land grant community. I will bless the Lord at all times. God's praise shall continually be in my mouth. To the all corn community, I thank you for this invitation to be a part of this celebration, celebrating 200 years of being pioneers in the education of people of African descent. Since 1871, Alcorn has been the premier institution to unleash the potential and the power that God has placed in the minds of people of African descent. I wonder if the state legislature of Mississippi knew what they were unleashing in 1871 after the Oakland College closed down and those students joined the Confederacy that it was the state of Mississippi that gave the land that was for Oakland in order to found what we now know as Alcorn. 
Did they know that they would be unleashing power and pioneers, men and women who would transform the social landscape of this nation? We are grateful for what this institution means. We are grateful for the incredible history. We are grateful that a person who was resting in the Senate by the name of Hiram Revels decided to resign and decided to then be the leader of this incredible institution. History even states that the descendants of those who were part of many of the slave rebellions in the area known as Natchez, who were looking to push against those who were uh, French colonists and enslavers, are now students at Alcorn University. We thank God for what God is doing. And I am honored to celebrate and to be a part of how God has been moving since 1871. Let us go to God in prayer at this moment. Gracious and most merciful God, in whom we live, move, and have our being, we thank you for moving in such a mighty way, opening doors in 1871, to allow those who were enslaved Africans to reach their full potential. We thank you for how you have been preparing leaders, how you've been preparing those who would be community organizers and individuals who would move back to their community and change the neighborhoods they grew up in. We thank you for anointing all corn and allowing this institution to be a crown jewel, not only in Mississippi, but across this nation. May you continue to anoint and empower the leadership and the student body. Another 200 years from now, people will look back and say, there lived a people who were able to break through the crucible of an antebellum period and build an institution that was able to transform the lives of those who had been marginalized in the yet-to-be United States of America. We are grateful for what you are doing, and we thank you for this celebration. And we offer this prayer in the name of the one who is Savior, Liberator, and Healer. By the name of Jesus, we pray. And the people of God, who love God, may say, Amen. Hello, this is U.S. Senator Roger Wicker. Congratulations. Today we are celebrating a milestone, the 150th anniversary of Alcorn State University. Alcorn's history is a story that is linked to our state's history and our nation's history. In honor of this sesquicentennial, let's celebrate this country's first historically black land-grant university, and one of the strong leaders who has made this place great. Alcorn's first president, Hiram Revels, began life as an AME pastor who found his calling lifting up members of communities around him. But he was also called to public service. He became our nation's first black U.S. senator, despite strong objections to his selection. Born in a country divided by slavery, he broke the Senate color barrier just five years after the close of the Civil War. When Senator-elect Revels walked into the Senate chamber for the first time, he was greeted by applause from the galleries. It was a historic moment that few of his peers had expected to see within their lifetimes. His service left a lasting impression on our body. His membership in the U.S. Senate moved us toward the more perfect union envisioned by our founders. He helped to carve a path for us all, just as today's students, alumni, and staff will help to build the road that generations behind you will follow. I'm confident that future Alcorn graduates will help to carve the path for this nation, just as Hiram Revels did right here in Lorman, Mississippi. I want to offer my compliments on 150 extraordinary years of higher education, achievement, and success.
And I wish your current president, Dr. Nave, well as she charts a path for Alcorn into its next great era. Thank you. I'm U.S. Secretary of Agriculture, Tom Vilsack, and it's my great pleasure to join you today to celebrate the 150th anniversary of Alcorn State University. I honor Alcorn State University's historic milestone by recognizing you as the nation's first historically black land-grant university. You defied the odds and transcended all expectations while offering a transformative educational opportunity to tens of thousands of talented students. Generations of those who graduated from Alcorn State have passed down its traditions, learned beneath the shade of giant trees to many who are inspired to be more and to do more. Your first president, Hiram Revels, was an AME pastor who found his calling lifting up members of the communities around him. And then he went on to make history as our nation's first black U.S. Senator. He helped to carve a path for each of you to build that road that generations behind will follow. With a clear mind, a good heart filled with good intentions, and the willingness to roll up your sleeves to make a positive difference, this is how we can all make our country better. And that's what Alcorn State stands for today. Alcorn's a place where you can be the first college graduate in your family, and then go on and be the change we need, just as Hiram Revels did. I want to offer my compliments on 150 extraordinary years of higher education achievement and success right here at Alcorn State. And I extend my congratulations on choosing Dr. Nave as the leader to steer Alcorn into the next great era. I wish you strength and perseverance in your journey and my very best wishes for the next 150 years. Thank you and may God bless each of you and Alcorn State University. Thank you, Reverend Moss, Senator Wicker, and Secretary Vilsack. Your work, your support, and your words inspire us all and help paint an iconic picture of Alcorn State University's impact on the nation and around the globe. So now it is my pleasure to lead an esteemed panel of leaders in a discussion of Alcorn's academic and their tradition of academic excellence and leadership. Dr. Felicia M. Nave, Dr. Alfred Rankins, Jr., and Colonel Timothy Holman. So thank you all so much for being here with us and sharing with us your perspectives on your Alcorn experiences. As we gather to celebrate and honor the university's 150th anniversary, we do recognize that Alcorn's unwavering mission and has a reputation for excellence. My first question, though, is for you, Dr. Nave. Uh, what, are, what would you say are your three academic comp accomplishments or highlights that you feel set Alcorn apart from other institutions? So my background is in STEM. And by designation, Alcorn is a regional institution. And from a STEM perspective, we overperform in terms of the number of graduates that we produce uh, in the STEM disciplines and fields. If you did a, a profile of our incoming freshman class, many of those students have chosen a STEM degree as their major of choice. Therefore, our graduating classes um, are somewhere between 40 to 50 percent um, graduates in STEM disciplines. Uh, we also overperform in terms of the number of doctor students who go on to pursue their doctoral degrees, whether that's a JD, an MD, PhD, EDD, and that, I believe, sets all corn apart. And lastly, when you look at our rich history in nursing and education and the workforce that we train for not just the state but for the nation, Alcorn has done an exceptional job in putting out excellent teachers and nurses um, that have gone on to do fantastic things. All right, Dr. Rankins, how would you expand on Dr. Nave's perspective? Well, as President Nave uh, mentioned, uh, we have a lot of our graduates at Alcorn that go on and successfully complete graduate and professional schools. But in particular, we have a lot of uh, Alcornites that go on to uh, dental school and are, many are practicing dentists uh, throughout the U.S. I think that's a testament uh, to our arts and sciences program that we have here at Alcorn. Uh, also, if you look in the area of agricultural sciences, when you look at the various agencies across the U.S. Department of Ag Agriculture, whether it be risk management, uh, NRCS, 
uh, the various, across these various agencies, you see a lot of Alkanites that are in leadership roles throughout the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Uh, so that's really a testament to the quality of the uh, academic programs that we offer uh, here at Alcorn State University. Well, indeed, Alkanites are known for punching above our weight and leading from the front. It's just what we do. And speaking of leadership, uh, Colonel Holman, you came to Alcorn to be a math teacher and have spectacularly risen to the top ranks of our nation's military. So how would you say that Alcorn prepares students for excellence in leadership and service and give any examples? Yeah, I, I think it's this idea of servant leadership where you develop yourself, learn your craft so you can develop other people. So I've spent an awful lot of time trying to hone my craft but give back, whether it's to the cadets here at Alcorn or to the soldiers that I lead. I, I think the other thing that I think about is this idea of being very humble but strong, allowing people to see you for who you are and then watch you and then let them talk about you versus you talking about yourself. And then the final thing I say is just leading by example. Uh, make sure that people see you for what you say you're going to do and watch you do it versus having you talk about it and never do that. Dr. Nev, I want to follow up on what Colonel Holman just mentioned. And thinking of leadership and we're thinking of service and your undergraduate experience, how did Alcorn dare you to lead? Absolutely. First and foremost, I agree wholeheartedly with the comments that Colonel Holman uh, just made. I, my experience at Alcorn was a holistic development. Uh, they not only trained me to be a professional in the field, but they helped me in terms of my develop as a human being. So a holistic uh, approach to developing the student. The curriculum was challenging and I had the opportunity to be trained and developed by uh, professors who brought both a national and an international uh, perspective and experience to the table. They cared about who we were as a person and they poured into us the things that we would need to go out and to be successful. We didn't always have all the things that a larger, more resource institution may have, but they taught us how to do well with what we did have and to not make excuses for not getting things done. So as I tell uh, my leadership team, it's important, regardless of what we're facing, to just get it done. And so I appreciate the holistic development and experience that I received here at Alcorn, which has prepared me to lead for the next, in this next period of time in the institution's history. We're blessed to have you. Now, this question is for all three of you. Uh, starting with you, Colonel Holman, can you describe some of the unique qualities of your Alcorn education? Like when you graduated, when you crossed the cattle gap, when you left the yard, or when you departed the academic resort before going out into the real world? What are, what are some three distinctive Alcorn qualities that you walked away with? I think first I'd say hard work. So I, I am uh, from a very small town, March, Mississippi. My father instilled this idea of working hard. And when I got here, my professors made sure that I worked hard. Uh, Dr. Allen, Dr. Smith, they never allowed you to just settle. So I think the idea of hard work, doing what you need to do so people understood that you knew your craft. I think the other two things that I would mention is this idea of being, again, humble, uh, and honest, and, and being honest with yourself and being honest with the people that you work with, in my case, that you serve with. And then the final thing I think I would say is pride. Um, I've had an opportunity to sit in the midst of uh, prime ministers, presidents, kings, and every time they'd ask me, I'd always tell them first I'm from Mississippi and second that I went to Alcorn State University. So whenever I was surrounded by people... <laughs> Even when I was surrounded by people who went to what they would perceive as more prestigious universities, I always made sure that I said I was from Alcorn State University. Dr. Nair? Uh, the first one I would say is confidence. Uh, we are developed in a way that we know that we know how to perform both uh, in work, in the classroom, in any walk that we find ourselves. Uh, second, uh, like Colonel Holmes, is a worth ethic. Uh, you can't outwork an Alcanite. And lastly, I would say integrity, and knowledge and character. An Alcorn student, you leave here with great integrity, with the knowledge and the character to excel in the world. Dr. Rankins? Well, I think a characteristic you'll see in, in most Alcorn graduates, first of all, uh, you have to be disciplined. Uh, and you learn that and you're taught that as a student uh, at Alcorn State University. Uh, secondly, you have to be uh, resourceful. 
Uh, we're not located in a metropolitan city. Uh, we, we are where we are, and that comes along with some uh, challenges, but also a lot of opportunities. And it teaches you to be very resourceful uh, as a student. And lastly, if you come to Alcorn and you stay at Alcorn and graduate, you're going to leave for a true love for this university. I think those are three characteristics you'll, you'll see in, in most Alcorn graduates. Wow, thank you guys. What a great conversation. And to Dr. Rankins, to Dr. Nave, and to Colonel Holman, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing your insights on the academic excellence and leadership development that you guys personally experienced here at Alcorn State University. Each of you gave me and you gave the audience a firm understanding of Alcorn's role in preparing and shaping you and others into world-class leaders of knowledge and of character. So, you know, it is one thing to have self-awareness, to know who you are and know where you stand, but it is also more meaningful and special when you hear it from others. So now we will hear insights about Alcorn's reach in the world from a few of our dear friends and supporters. Our next guests represent a cross-section from all parts of society, from the families of our founders to sports and entertainment to government and beyond. Let's hear from perspectives from the outside in. Hello, I'm Governor Tate Reeves. I am so proud to celebrate with you today and the entire Alcorn State University community. What a monumental milestone. Alcorn State's sesquicentennial. This is a wonderful accomplishment for each student, each faculty member, and of course, all of you the supportive alumni to be proud of. Generation after generation, you've turned out talented and successful graduates like Air McNair, Michael Clark Duncan, Mrs. Murley Evers, and my dear friend, Commissioner Willie Simmons, and so many others who have positively impacted our state and our country in extraordinary ways. From politics to business, industry, sports, the arts, and of course, education. Thank you for your commitment to Alcorn State over these decades. And thank you for all you are doing to continue to shape our communities and our great state of Mississippi. I cannot wait to see where we will take Alcorn State University in the decades to come. Please enjoy this celebration because you have all earned it. God bless. Good afternoon, Alcorn State University. It's a great day to be among so many Braves. Happy 150th anniversary. Congratulations on this momentous occasion. I'm so honored to serve this prestigious institution of higher learning here in the United States Congress. Alcorn has succeeded against the great odds of Reconstruction, Jim Crow, and desegregation now the institution dares to showcase its strategic mission and greatness while charting the next course of 150 years. On behalf of Speaker Nancy Pelosi and all the citizens of the 2nd Congressional District, we hope you'll continue to dare to be brave, dare to be great, and dare to be Alcorn. Since 1871, Alcorn continues to be the only public land-grant HBCU in the state of Mississippi, educating young African-American students. Thank you for inviting me to speak to you. I wish all an amazing 150th celebration. Go Braves. Happy 150th anniversary, Alcorn State University. As the great-great-granddaughter of the university's founder and namesake, Governor James Lusk Alcorn. It is an honor to join you in celebrating this historic milestone of the oldest land-grant HBCU in America. My family and I are proud to see this great institution of higher learning continue to succeed against the odds. Keep daring to be great for another 150 years. Congratulations, and here's to you. This is Terry Lynn Carrington wishing Alcorn State very big congratulations on this momentous occasion. I really have enjoyed the time I've spent there for your jazz festival and 
am very happy to be a part of your community. So thank you for holding down this rich tradition of jazz, and I wish you another successful 150 years, and I hope to be back there soon. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Troy Vincent. On behalf of Commissioner Goodell and the entire NFL family, we congratulate Alcorn State University on 150 years of excellence. It's been an honor to have over 50 alum play in the National Football League because time and time again, Alcorn graduates have proven that they are men and women that are truly leaders professionally and personally. Hearing those well wishes and acknowledgments of Alcorn accomplishments from others it makes me proud. And while the Alcorn family is a humble group, we are also a force to be reckoned with. There's a great strength in our humility and its impact extends far beyond Mississippi. So how are we building on that legacy today? Well, let's look at the current student experience at Alcorn State University. And for that, I'll turn the program over to fellow broadcast journalist and accomplished alum, Brandon Rook. Thanks, Melissa, for such a wonderful introduction. Dakeem, Amber, Christopher, and Heather, thank you for joining me as now we're gonna discuss the current Alcorn State University student experience. And Heather, I would like to start with you. How would you describe the current environment here at Alcorn State University in 2021? I would say the current environment is very homey and feels very comfortable. Even during the pandemic, I feel like when the pandemic hit, it was going to be, it was gonna hurt some of our college experience and hurt some of the like environment, but it didn't. And even through the pandemic, it still feels like home and it still feels like safe, so. Akeem, would you agree with Amber's description? Yeah, I got here approximately four years ago from Chester, Pennsylvania. And uh, before I got down here, I knew nothing about, you know, uh, the countryside, uh, the hospitality, the traditional things that go down here. And so I got down here and it's just been so amazing. I'm a senior now, so it's been it's just been so amazing of how um, I acclimated to the school and just the, the whole whole scenery. It's been amazing. Yeah, um, Alcorn is definitely indeed a special place, but let's get one more perspective. Chris, how would you describe the current Alcorn State University environment? Um, Alcorn is a sense of home. As soon as you step on campus, you feel that a uh, family atmosphere. Teachers are like mentors. They are always constantly by your side. Uh, and they're, uh, they're always by your side, yeah, so. All right, perfect. Um, and I wanted to follow up on that idea. So I wanna talk about mentors. I wanna follow up on this idea. So when we talk about mentors, a lot of professors, you know, they step up to help students to, you know, help them with growth and opportunities. Heather, could you um, list some professors who have helped and mentored you along the way? My number one professor would be Mr. Sanders. He helped me along the way. He challenges me every day, managing deadlines, and it's completely authentic. And I would say Kurt. Mr. Kirk, he also helped me. He always gave me equipment when I need it, so. No, and I could definitely speak on Mr. Sanders and Kurt because I am also a mass communications graduate, so they definitely helped me along the way as well. And, you know, just want to follow up on one thing that you just said. You said teachers are mentors and, you know, they dare to help you reach for more and reach for higher. So, Amber, did any professors or administrators play a huge role and mentoring you and daring you to reach higher? Yes, absolutely. I would have to say my general chemistry teacher was this Miss Ely. She definitely helped me transition from high school to college, and she has definitely been a major person in my life throughout my college years. And also Dr. Sturgis, he was the professor over the Honors College, and he got me into um, a program at Meharry called BSMD program, which just, you know, showed me how life as a medical student would be, and it showed me that I really could do it. Yeah, Alcorn State University is an amazing place that offers lots of support and has lots of opportunities for students to experience. And, you know, when I was here, when I first came on campus, I was a young kid, and when I walked off campus four years later, I was a, a young man. There was a lot of growth. There was a lot of um, evolving here during my four years on campus, and I wouldn't trade any of the experiences, the good ones 
the challenging ones, the bad ones, the fun ones, you know, it all molded me into the man I am today. And it all played a major role, whether that was, you know, falling in love for the first time on this campus, getting my heart broke for the first time on this campus, you know, having fun intellectual conversations with my peers, with fellow students and professors. You know, all of these experience, all of these experiences helped me grow. And, you know, I hope students you know, take that lesson. I hope that's a lesson that they learn. You know, when you're here, here's an opportunity for you to grow and learn and also, you know, learn to be better and also learn from your mistakes, you know, because in the real world, we may not have those opportunities to make mis mistakes like how our other counterparts are. So make mistakes while you're here on campus and learn from them and become better. Fail forward. Now, Christopher, can you tell us of a specific moment where Alcorn State University surprised you and helped you to grow? I understand that you're a student athlete. Yes, I'm a student athlete. Well, I'll, let me tell you my story. I'm from Port Gibson, right around the road from Alcorn State University. So growing up as a child in high school, I've seen Alcorn win championships. That drove me to go to Alcorn to get this ring right here, get a championship ring. It's real nice. I just want to let you know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so. Walking into campus and starting my uh, journey here at Alcorn State University, uh, I chose to major plant and soil science. And just a few months ago, I had the opportunity to attend the Ag Symposium. Um, as a football student, you wouldn't expect a football player to go attend uh, some academic program and some research symposium. But me going into there, it drew attention to, uh, to me. It drew, uh, I got excited because uh, I've seen students, my, my peers, my fellow peers, go and uh, go showcase their research. So uh, it drove me to go to reach out to professors and ask, can I go join their research programs? And uh, yeah, so that's one of my experience here at Alcorn uh, and one of the greatest experiences that they're me to aspire to become a, you know, do research here. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm, I'm definitely proud of you, you know, because, you know, you had a vision, you came here, and it looks like you got your championship. Um, but it also reminds me, your story reminds me of a very interesting fact, one that I'm very proud of and one that I think that is truly impressive. So half of the students, if you do not know, half of the students enrolled on Alcorn State University's campus are enrolled in some type of STEM major or program and you know when you look at today's climate when you look at the world it's very important to have you know men and women leading and working in the stem field more specifically men and women of color so i am super proud and super happy to know that you know alcorn state university is preparing the next stem leaders of tomorrow in fact our stem programs were recognized this past year with generous donations from several national corporations, including Verizon, Nissan North America Incorporated, and Anthem Health Insurance. It is the generosity of private philanthropy like these gifts that will allow this institution to continue to graduate students and prepare them to be leaders so that they can make an impact on the world. Now, while impact on a global basis is very important, Amber, I hear that you make a huge impact on the local community as well. You know, making an impact and, you know, helping the lo local community is a big part of the Alcorn experience. So Amber, tell us your story about serving. Well, yes, I have been a member of lots of different organizations here on campus and they all are centered around giving back to the community. I feel like the service that we do within our organizations through Alcorn is another form of recruiting also to get people to want to come to the school. I've done tutoring at the high schools and recently with my sorority, we did a toiletry drive after the winter storm, just basically doing whatever we can do to cater to the community. Yes, service is so important. You know, to be a leader, first you have to serve. So continue to, you know, learn those serve, uh, learn those service skills and continue to, you know, look for those opportunities because it's only going to make you better as a leader. And also, you know, it's making a huge impact on the world. And I have one last question and it's for you, Dakeem. At Alcorn State University, there's this motto, dare to aspire. So what lessons have you learned over the last four years? Um, I got dare to aspire when I first, like I said, I told you guys I'm from the state of Pennsylvania. And I got down here, uh, the first thing I learned with is to aspire was character, the word character. Uh, I learned that that's branched off for the entire school. 
the second one was mentoring. Uh, I think that we need to be mentored uh, through the process of college and to be inspired. Uh, and then the last one is networking. Networking is the key um, just to graduate. You need to network to um, get a job. You need to network to meet new people. And it's always good to network anyway. So those things made me to dare to expire. And they were just the tools I took through my four years of degree. Thank you for sharing that story, Dakeem. You know, you mentioned one thing, networking, and it's one of my favorite things to do. Actually, one of my favorite quotes is, your network determines your net worth. So I hope you guys continue to network, you know, while you're here on campus. And also, it's very important to continue to network when you leave this campus. So network determines your net worth. And I also wanted to get one more perspective. So Heather, how would you say Alcorn State University has changed you? Alcorn State University changed me by my mindset. I used to think that, oh, I have to do better and be bigger to get my craft done, to get my work done. So it taught me how to use my resources around me. And you have mentors, you have an entire team of people, you have so many different departments that can help fund or help you know, your craft. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Christopher. Thank you, Amber, and thank you, the King, thank you for sharing and sitting down with me, talking about the current Alcorn State University student experience. You know, you definitely gave me a renewed sense and hopefully gave the viewers, people watching this, a, a renewed sense of what the current Alcorn State University experience is like. And hopefully it gives us an idea of where the school is heading in the future. So thank you all for continuing to dare to aspire. You know, thank you for honoring Alcorn State University's legacy of excellence. And on behalf of the Alcorn State University family, I just wish you all continued success as you continue to matriculate through life. Now, let's take a closer look at the Alcorn State University experience in action with the walk around the yard. Um, the student experience here at Alcorn is basically a sense of belonging. Being at Alcorn State University is like being a part of a family. No one treats you like an outsider. The professors are very personable with you and also the faculty and staff really make you feel like you belong. Community service here at Alcorn is very important. We have a lot of community service based organizations, both Greek and non-Greek. And so the purpose of them is to just help the community, help our students, because we are in a rural area, so most of our help comes from within. So I guess, I guess the best word really ultimately is saying is caring. Like, everyone cares. And then learning-wise, educational-wise, it's been, it's been a great experience. Uh, they actually teach us how to be more competitive on the global market. They allow us to study abroad and take part in global and international studies in classrooms. It's all about how bad do you want it because they want it for you. You just have to put forth the effort. Of course, Greek life is important because I feel like it demonstrates that it's more than just coming out here to have fun and to party. It really is about getting your education and how can you help someone else out? It really demonstrates that that is one of our core values. We're basically a big family. We do a lot of community service events around campus, as well as like the outer community of yeah. this area, whether it be reading to a class, whether it be highway cleanup, soup kitchen, daycare schools. Basically, wherever the community needs help, like we're there to help. It's not just a brotherhood or a sisterhood that you have, it's more so something that will follow you for the rest of your life is that legacy that you may get to leave when you leave the school and everything. So I would definitely encourage anybody to get a part of Greek life or any organization for that matter. So the relationship with the student body and the alumni is one like a no other. Football is a very integral part of Alcorn's traditions. So at a lot of our games, this is where alumni and students interact. The students go to the tailgate and they get to speak with alumni and the alumni share their, their career experiences and how they're doing in life outside of all four. If alumni recently just graduated and they got a wonderful job, they will come back and they will explain their experiences that they had and what they had to do to get to those positions. 
especially like sometimes they bring back internship or even job opportunities to our students. Oh man, homecoming here is phenomenal. There's there's really not word to describe. Family gathering, good food, um, good times and everything. I have so much family that I didn't know I have because it's like once everyone gets here, you're here. You're in all night forever. So I see it as a big family gathering. And I feel like it's really special to Alcorn because when we come together, we come together. It's always an Alcorn night somewhere. Even actually thinking about it, one of my first games when I came out was a homecoming game and everything. And it was really nice. It changed my life forever. And it pretty much submitted the groundwork for me to come to Alcorn. Well, Alcorn is in a very rural area. So on campus, we do have to create our own fun. And it is easy for us. We don't really require a lot of resources. As long as we have a speaker and good weather, we come together and we really enjoy ourselves out here. I love to be outside. The beauty of the campus and everything, there's a walking trail that stretches from the new dorms all the way back to the front gate. Oh my God, it's beautiful, breathtaking. There's a whole group of people who just love to fish. You got people who love anime, you know, who want to like to watch those type of shows and everything. So. It's a group for everything, and I, you can't really even like stress that enough. So it's it's always students making fun. So when you hear all corn, you might think about football, or you might think about its ag program. But we also have something here called global programs, which really includes our international students, and it really gets to showcase their cultures and their arts here at all corn. The global program do not only just assist us international students, but the student body entirely to get a better understanding of where we want to be in life, especially on a competitive global market, and also get a better understanding in different countries with international study and educational program. We also have the Multicultural Festival, which helps American students look deeper into West Indian and also African heritage. At Alcorn State University, the student experience has been comforting knowledgeable and very educational and it makes me proud to represent my country. Um, it's a once in a lifetime thing for sure. Coming to Alcorn State University was the best decision I have ever made for myself academically and I am very excited to step into the real world. When they say you meet your family in college they were not lying and when they say it goes by fast it does but I think mostly I am ready to take on my next challenges in life due, because of all corner. The student experience of all corner is everlasting. The Alcorn family shares many traditions, and one in particular is our championship success in athletics. So in a moment, we'll hear from Dr. Jason Cable, student athletes and current and former Alcorn Brave coaches about the role that athletics plays at Alcorn State University. But before we do that, what would athletics be without our beloved marching band, the Sounds of Dynamite? Now, having marched in their shoes myself, let's change up the beat and welcome the original show band from the Southland, the Sounds of Dynamite Marching Band. <laughs>
What an amazing and energetic performance by the sounds of Dynamite. They never cease to amaze and always provide the good old brave spirit. Another group that has been wearing the purple and gold with pride are our student athletes. My name is Jason Cable and I've had the opportunity and it's fortunate uh, to have the opportunity to graduate from Alcorn State University, to play on three championship basketball teams, and also to coach here on the yard. Today I'm joined by Coach Bussey, head men's basketball coach, and also by a two-time SWAC champion, our former head football coach, Jay Hobson. Coaches, I want to talk to you today about how Alcorn Athletics has impacted the student athlete experience. But before we get to that, let's hear from our world-class student athletes. Hi, my name is Ernest Dixon III. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm an ag business major. I'm the vice president of National Leader of Successes, and I'm also a member of Manners. I dare you to go out and be strong and be brave. I dare you to help the next generation. The generation is coming after me. Hi, my name is Maria Rentas, and I'm from Juana Diaz, Puerto Rico. I'm a setter for the volleyball team, and also a physical therapy major. I'm part of the President's Scholars list, and I dare you to have the commitment to accomplish your goals, doesn't matter when it comes in the way. Hi, I'm Trinity Jones, a social sciences education major from Stonewall, Louisiana. I am a member of the Lady Braves women's soccer team, a five times Dean's List scholar, student athlete advisor council member, and a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. I dare you to learn who you are and where you come from. Trinity, Ernest, and Maria, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I was intrigued by your dare to statements. Trinity, you talked about legacy. Maria, you talked about commitment. And Ernest, you talked about providing for the next generations to come. Each of those are very important and imperative for you to do moving forward. And so let's dig a little bit deeper um, of, on the impact of athletics on the student athlete experience. Uh, Coach Hobson, I'll start with you. From your perspective, how does athletics and what role does athletics play at Alcorn State University? Athletics is a unifying uh, spirit at Alcorn. I really feel like um, student athletes unify the alumni base, they, they unify the faculty. You know, I think about the games at Jack Spinks Stadium, the Spinks Castle Stadium. Um, just, you know, what a spirit when alumni come back. Um, I think about, you know, my favorite story as a football coach at Alcorn State, you know, I would do a little Wednesday walk and I'd walk up to the top of the stadium and I can remember looking out over the stadium and, and just seeing it, a Christmas village, I could see tents, I could see uh, alumni, friends, everybody camping out. And this is two days before kickoff, but just the beauty of that, you could hear the laughter, you could hear the music, you, you, could, you could feel the energy at Alcorn. Uh, and that's something that's just so special. You, you don't get that anywhere else but on the athletic field. Uh, we all know that the reason you come to Alcorn State University is for a, a wonderful, uh, education. It's one of the finest educational institutions in the country, but the athletic experience is special and uh, those memories and those times are, 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 are things that I'll never forget and I was just blessed to be a part of that here at Alcorn. Yes, Coach, and I will say this, I can tell you're a heck of a recruiter because I'm ready to sign. That's right. Well, well, come on, we'll take all you. Over again. I'll take you right now. we got to shave some of that gray <laughs> off, but I'll take you right now, Jason. I need all Absolutely. All the athletes we can get. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Coach Buster, you're newly minted here and you're starting to develop and build your program. When you're out recruiting, uh, how do you know that a, a potential student athlete fits the bill for Alcorn, that they'll be successful here? Well, the first thing I look for is character, um, to see how the young man character is on and off the court. Um, and one thing we like to tap into is the academics. Um, it's, you know, so you're a student first, then athlete. Uh, we would definitely want to make sure we find a student athlete who can succeed in the classroom and on the court. That's the most important for us. Um, and our job here is to make sure them guys are prepared when they leave here for the real world. Okay. Absolutely. Preparation is key. Absolutely. Coach Hobson, uh, being a, a former uh, all-academic, all-American, uh, how would you add to what Coach Bussey mentioned? You know, I, I think 
that's what we really want for our student athletes is we want them to win academically, athletically, and socially. I think those are three uh, cornerstones of a wonderful college experience. And one thing we used to sell at Alcorn is, hey, you can come here and get a world-class degree. You can get a championship ring, okay? And along the way, we're gonna try to do things right and be an example. Yes, absolutely. And I can remember uh, my time getting recruited 20 plus years ago and Coach Whitney, who's in the Basketball Hall of Fame, he promised me and my family that I would get at least one championship ring and also graduate within four years. I graduated in five, so I think one of the years I majored in social activities. I was on that plan too, Jason. <laughs> that was my plan also, so I'm guilty as charged too. I understand. So uh, now I want to hear from the student athletes and your decision to come to Alcorn. Um, Trinity, you're about to graduate here in a, in a couple of weeks. And so can you tell me what does it mean to be an Alcorn State student athlete? To be an Alcorn State Brave um, student athlete is to be someone that is family oriented. Uh, we are a family here at Alcorn. All the student athletes, we come together, we work hard, we um, play hard. And so to be an Alcorn State Brave is family. Especially with me as I've been a legacy, my dad and my uncle are both graduates from here. They also were on the track team as well as track scholarships. So to Athletics has been in my blood for a long time. And all court athletics have really, they really run deep. So um, like I said, it's a family thing and it's really family to me, but everybody here is a family. Everybody from other teams are um, together. Like we have volleyball, track, everybody hangs out with each other. So that's, it is a family atmosphere. Yes, I, I agree with you, Trinity. Uh, this is a family environment. I remember uh, my experiences here, uh, just even being in a dormitory, being able to go when you don't have food, you go right next door. Uh, no hesitation with sharing. And so that family experience, I think, is unique um, to Alcorn. So, Ernest, what does it mean to be an Alcorn State student athlete? Being an Alcorn State student athlete is like what Trinity said, family. We are all a family. We're all here to get our education. We're here for four years, and we're going to do great in 40 years. And I'm just grateful that Alcorn instills that in us today. Also, uh, Maria, I want to come back to you. Maria, why was it important for you to come to Alcorn? Coming to Alcorn, I like the environment of how coaches are making sure that student athletes are taking care of the academics because after four years, you need to become a professional. So I like how my coach was making sure that even though I can be a great student athlete, she also wants me to be a great student. So at the end of the day, I get my degree and I can also make an impact in the community as a professional. Right, that holistic experience you get here in Alcorn. So coaches, we'll end with you. Uh, and this is a very important question. It's a lifelong lesson question. So how do you prepare student athletes in winning and losing? How do you win the right way? and how do you accept defeat the right way? Well, I think the biggest thing is you can win the right way, you can lose the wrong way. Um, I tell my students all, all the time, it's the, right, it's the right way to win. Um, you wanna win with class and dignity. Um, you don't wanna show another team up. Um, when you lose, you wanna lose some type of fight and effort. Um, you put your best foot forward. So when you go into the real world, you have some competitive nature to learn how to compete. But if you don't you know, win in the real world as far as you lose out on the job, um, as long as you gave your best effort. I have to agree with Coach. Uh, win winning, um, you know, everybody wants to win. There's, there's, there's probably nothing uh, more fun than winning. But as sad as it is, we learn our lessons and our losses and our defeats. Uh, those are the things that mold us and, and make us better. And um, you know, one thing we try to tell our young men, or we tried to tell our young men when I coached here at Alcorn was, and we started off when we took over the program. We weren't a very good football program at that time. So we had some defeats early, but one thing we wanted to tell them is, you know, you're gonna learn from this and you gotta fight through these bad times. You gotta keep pressing on just like life. You know, you're gonna get highs and you're gonna have lows. And I used to tell them, hey, just remember, you're never as good as anybody tells you you are and you're never as bad as anybody tells you are. And one thing we tried to say at Alcorn, we're just, we're just, you know, I always say we're just a bunch of zeros that are going to go to work. 
Yes, absolutely, Coach. And I think each and every one of you have defined the Alcorn way. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about a culture of academic and athletic success. And so I want to thank you, Trinity, Coach Bussy, Maria, Coach Hobson, and Ernest, for taking time to be with me today. I think what you provided to our audience is the value. You've illustrated the value that athletics brings to the institution and how it impacts the student-athlete experience. Back to you, Melissa. Thank you, Dr. Cable, for helping us understand the role of athletics at Alcorn. So we're coming to the end of our broadcast, and it has truly been my honor to be your host for this historic milestone in Alcorn State University's history. I do believe the best is yet to come for this giant in learning's band. In a moment, the 20th president of Alcorn State University, President Nave, will tell us about that bright future and share her vision of how together we will dare to lead and excel. But before we look forward, let's take a look at how much we have achieved over the past 150 years. Rising from the embers of the Civil War and less than 10 years after the enactment of the first Morrill Act, Mississippi's Reconstruction Legislature birthed Alcorn University, its first land-grant institution, on May 13, 1871. Chartered as a beacon of opportunity and with no existing model to follow, our founding leaders, faculty, and students carved their own paths, sparked by a driving aspiration and a bold vision of what Alcorn would become. The university's evolution was fast and ambitious. In just seven years, the institution would be renamed Alcorn A&M College and with it, the crowning as America's oldest historically black land-grant university. And within its first decade, the first woman earned an Alcorn degree, becoming the first black woman in the U.S. to graduate from a state-supported college. The campus flourished at an exponential rate, expanding to eight times its initial size. And academic programs blossomed as Alcorn grew to include five academic schools, offering degrees spanning more than 50 disciplines with an intentional global reach. Just over a century and a quarter after its founding, a sitting U.S. president visited our school to remind graduates that not only is the grass greener, the air cleaner, the water sweeter, but this campus is just a little bit closer to heaven. Alcorn has always attracted extraordinary talent. The first black U.S. Senator, Hiram Rebels, was also our first president, a job that Frederick Douglass once called himself unqualified to hold. Across the generations, Alcornites have included trailblazers in countless fields. Civil rights icons Medgar and Burley Evers, Pulitzer Prize winning author Alex Haley, and professional football legend Steve McNear. Our students have led the Mississippi NAACP, graced the stage of the Miss America pageant, received an Oscar nomination, and won an Olympic gold medal. Over and over, Members of our Alcorn family have transcended expectations and dare to make indelible marks on the world. Many universities talk about family. At Alcorn, it is who we are and who we have been for 150 years. We are more than family. Legions of Alcornites have beckoned from beneath the shade of giant trees to become those who dare to aspire to more. What draws us together? We unite around time-honored traditions, winning sports teams, the sounds of dynamite, time together in the splendid isolation of the yard, the academic resort. We literally and metaphorically plant seeds that help the world grow stronger communities. And we dream big, always relying on this brave family to lift us higher. From its earliest days, Alcorn stood as a bright beacon of opportunity for those who dared to be great, dared to be bold, and dared to be Alcorn. The spark that lit our campus on May 13, 
1871 is still burning today, illuminating the path for those who are ready to do more, be more, give more. And after 150 years, we're just getting started. For 150 years, Alcorn State University has been a beacon of hope and opportunity, a place where all people are encouraged to dream and grow without limitations. We have maintained that identity for 15 decades because we are a family, a family that celebrates and struggles with unwavering love, a family that holds each other accountable and pushes each other to new heights, a family that cares for one another too much to let excellence dwindle or slip into mediocrity. In this sesquicentennial celebration, we must root ourselves in those familiar truths that are, after all, who we are and how we elevate one another. If we dare to conduct ourselves with support and humility as our communal backbones, we will most certainly achieve greatness in our next 150 years. This means we never lose sight of where we came from and who we are. We remember with regularity the women and men who came before us to defy against great odds. And with that history safely secured in our minds and in our hearts, we continue moving forward. This means we also humbly recognize when we are the ones who have come before and we set an example worth following. That example is one of generosity, generous with our time, generous with our mentorship, and generous with our support because those are the invaluable gifts that ensure a future for the next generation of Alconites. In the next 150 years, we will become even more student-centered than we have ever been before. We will respond to the demands of a changing world and position our students to compete among the best of the best across all fields. We will do this through academic excellence and innovative programming while developing the whole person in the process. This good work will confirm Alcorn's position as a premier university among the nation's most trusted institutions. We will do the right work and the results that will speak for themselves. But this work requires commitment from the whole Alcorn family, each and every one of us. What role will you play in solidifying Alcorn's greatness in the next 150 years? Will you dare to engage more? Will you dare to broaden your reach? Will you dare to do more? give more, and reconnect and connect in more significant and meaningful ways. This is my challenge to you, that you would recognize the incredible worth of what you learned here and how that has manifested in your life after Alcorn. And then with that recognition, give of yourself generously. Today's and tomorrow's Alconites are looking to you in the same way you look to esteemed alumni. Our mission has been secured by action since our inception. Together, we will preserve the mission for another 150 years and beyond.
your eyes and visualize nothing is impossible for those who try just a dream to fly as eagles fly across the sky I know we can Hi, I'm Dr. Jacqueline Walters. 150 years, that's quite an achievement. My hat goes off to my Alcorn family for daring to shape me and my fellow alums for greatness. We are Alcorn proud and brave strong. Purple and gold forever. Hello, I am Dr. Adina Williams Lawson, president of St. Philip's College in San Antonio, Texas, and a member, a proud member of the 1973 graduating class. Congratulations, Alcorn, on 150 years of excellence. I have so many fond memories beneath the shade of giant trees. Thank you, Alcorn, for giving me an opportunity to grow, like all other alumni, into an excellent leader, both professionally and personally. Greetings, Alcorn family. I'm Gregory Holloway, Sr., a proud Alcorn graduate of the class of 1979 and representative for District 76 in the Mississippi House of Representatives. Alcorn State University is a very special place to me and holds a significant place in my heart. Several generations of my family have walked the hallowed grounds of the Campus of Excellence, and we are forever grateful to Alcorn for daring to light the path for us and thousands of Alcornites over the years. On behalf of the Alcorn alumni serving in the Mississippi Legislature, Representative Alice Clark, Representative Carl Gibbs, Representative Jeffrey Harness, Representative Orlando Payton, Representative Ricky Thompson, Senator Abbott Butler, Senator Sarita Simmons, and Senator Tammy Witherspoon. It is my honor to present this House Concurrent Resolution Number 48, signed by Lieutenant Governor Deborah Holzman and Speaker Philip Gunn. This resolution commemorates the momentous history 
and 150th anniversary of the founding of the oldest land-grant university by the state of Mississippi. To Dr. Nays and the entire Brave Nation, we extend best wishes for a great and successful 150th celebration. Congratulations to my beloved Alcorn State University on her 150th year anniversary. I am so honored to be an alumnus of this prestigious institution of higher learning. When I arrived at Alcorn in 1957, the thing to do for fun was to sit and to stand beneath the giant oak trees. There were only two dormitories for women. And since then, we have been blessed to have many, many more. Alcorn has succeeded against great odds and holds a special place in my heart and many of my family and friends across this nation. Thank you and do celebrate. Yay! Go Brave, go! Go Brave, go! Hello Alcorn State University. I want to extend my congratulations on our 150th year anniversary celebration. I'm so honored to consider myself an alumnus of our great institution. I always look forward to visiting the campus to reminisce of time spent under the shades of giant oak trees. Thank you for keeping our rich history and traditions alive. Peace, peace to the good people of Alcorn State University. What's up everybody? So, 150 years, wow. You know, that's crazy to me because I remember back when I was attending Alcorn, how rich the cultural legacy and the, 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 the essence of Alcorn was back then. So I can just imagine how, how much richer it is now. Um, I gotta say some of the most enjoyable and loving and heartwarming and sometimes scary and exciting and adventurous and funny moments happened right there at Alcorn State University. Um, and even to this day, some of my best friends to this day, I met on Alcorn's campus. So um, I gotta say that Alcorn has been and will be a part of my life forever. And uh, I appreciate it so much. You know, being a city boy from Chicago, going down to the deep south, it gave me a new look into the world uh, that I hadn't experienced before. And um, from the music, the food, the culture, the dialect, the jokes, um, the names of things, the places, the history, the, the folklore, all of that stuff was very exciting to me. So I gotta say that Alcorn State University, you are a part of my life, you're a part of my heart, you're a part of my spirit um, for as long as I'm here and beyond. So to everyone at Alcorn State, the staff, the student body, the faculty, everyone, I know there's a lot of things that have been going on in these crazy times, but you guys have stuck it out and you persevered, and I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. The Alcorn Braves are definitely brave, and I commend y'all for that. Um, so yeah, here's to a happy 150th anniversary, Alcorn State University. Peace, y'all. I bring you greetings from the House of Representative District 16. My name is Representative Ricky Thompson. Congratulations, Alcorn, on 150 years of excellence. I have so many fond memories of Alcorn. Thank you Alcorn for giving alumni like me the opportunity to grow into a leader, both professionally and personally. Congratulations Alcorn on 150 years of excellence. I want to say hi to Alcorn State University. I want to extend my congratulations on our 150th anniversary celebration. I'm honored to be considered one of our alumnus of this great institution. I look forward to always coming back to the campus whenever I can. And I wanna just say thank you to all of you that keep our rich history and traditions alive. Thank you, Alcorn State University. Happy 150th anniversary. God bless you. Hello, fellow Alconites. This is Leslie Frazier. It really is an honor to be able to participate in the 150th anniversary of the first black land-grant institution 
in the, in the United States of America. When I think about my time at Alcorn and the impact it had on my life, and then being able to see all the things that have transpired uh, throughout time, uh, so grateful for the experience. When you think about Alcorn starting off with eight faculty members, less than 200 students, and to evolve to the point where it's making a difference in the lives of many beyond the state of Mississippi, socially, academically, economically as well. Alcorn is making a difference in our country. So for me to be able to look back with such fond memories of the way my life was shaped and developed from a young boy entering school at 18 years of age and then leaving Alcorn as a man and, and realizing the impact that Alcorn had on my life and knowing that that impact is still occurring in the lives of our youth today. There are many leaders being developed, being able to go out, go out into the world to make a difference for our country because of their education at Alcorn. So like our motto says, where knowledge and character matter, Alcorn State University. Congratulations.